Now close your eyes. I got a surprise for you. So we got a very cool earbud here that is actually a gaming earbuds made out of zinc alloy and the model name is called a uh, Sirius Pro P9. I'm not sure what P9 represents, probably there was a P8, P7. I believe this is actually designed in LA. Um, yeah, engineered in LA and um, in the back side of it there's Sirius gaming earbuds and the PlayStation logo, should I dare say, of Triangle Square XO. And the specification is quite unique actually. It has a two dynamic drivers and two nose balance amateurs. Um, but actually quite disappointingly, it only has four hours of single charge battery and 24 hours uh, with the case actually. Um, it has an in-ear detection indeed. And also, oh, there is an ambient light of six RGB lights as well. So probably that's why we only have four hours of single charge. But anyhow, the uh, package itself is very unique and it's very cool, very industrial. And normally you throw away packages like uh, when you buy an earbud, but this one, I don't really want to throw it away. But anyhow, let's uh, get into the unboxing and do the sound test with my dear bruv here. So. Here it goes. All right, so there's not much to do unboxing. It's actually unwrapping, isn't it? I really love the case. Ah, look at that. Fresh and shiny. Um, so that's about it, isn't it? When you open it up, we've got the actual case earbuds. And oh, wow. There's a bit of a weight on it. It's really cool. When you hold it, it feels really good. Proper earbud. And uh, next to it, ah, so that's actually how it works. It comes out serious. So um, I'm sure we could actually look into the other stuff later on, but please do um, pause and uh, go through it if you want to. Um, okay. And now, so that's a quite nice display. Uh, so there's the uh, USB-C charging cable and that's the separate ear plugs. And I'm not sure, oh, this is the cool thing about this ear, but yes, I do remember if I were to open it up, look at that. You know what, I was actually expecting a um, cloth, but this is actually a metallic, sort of a um, really good quality. <laughs> Right, so I think this is how you actually attach the uh, necklace uh, onto the earbuds by using this rubber kind of thing uh, because I can't find it on the manual. But anyhow, if you look at the sideways, the actual button itself that you open it up um, is the, uh, the speaker, the robotic uh, speaker that we always um, tend to find on in the internet, quite popular. And on the sideways, it's very nice um, feel into it and there's a green light already because i think i pressed this button here but anyhow uh, the usb-c charging plug is here so you need to charge that and if we open it up and look at the earbuds itself um they're rather plasticky light but um yeah look at that if you zoom right into the actual ear earbud itself we also still have that robotic uh, speaker logo attached to it and um, quite light actually comparing to the actual case and um, yeah there's the in-ear sensor there and I noticed a bit of a hole somewhere yeah that's for your telephone conversation and etc and um, yeah really high quality product so we're going to do a sound test of Sirius Pro P9 uh, with a track called um, One Wish by Roa and then later on we're going to compare it with the Sony XM4 earbuds so here it goes
Gemini, we actually managed to find out that the Series Pro P9 has a very strong treble sound. It's probably one of the strongest treble sounds that we actually heard ever from an earbuds. And actually it does make sense. That's probably why it's called a gaming earbuds because if you imagine you're playing Call of Duty, right? Uh, you, one of the first thing, one of the most important thing that you need to be aware of is where your opponents are. And um, if this earbuds could help that sharpness, produce that sharpness to detect whether your enemy is actually in front of you or behind you, about to shoot you or about to stab you on the back, this is why the treble sounds need to be really strong. That's how we interpret it actually. And um, Overall, I think the beat itself is slightly weaker than the Sony XM4 Excited mode, uh, sound mode, but it's still a very good quality earbud. Um, you won't be disappointed. It's, it's one of those premium brands. The way how they design it, the package, even the package itself, down to every single detail is so beautiful. I love the weight. I guess some people will find it a bit heavy, uh, but I just love the weight. It's immediately when you grab it, it's that premium feel. That's what I'm after. And the way how it actually opens and the way how it has a gap of a triangular shape in the middle. I just love it. The way how the LED comes out and it has this industrial already torn, worn feeling that it won't make you feel bad if you gather some few scratch, if you see what I mean. And um, I'm actually looking forward to wearing this as a necklace and walking around central London to see whether anyone's gonna respond. But it's this, it has this army feel to it. And the actual um, case itself has this toolbox sort of effect as well. Um, so well done, Gavistow. You made a really brilliant earbud and um, perhaps I'll try to play some Call of Duty or that sort of sharpness sounds requiring game and then make another review out of it but um, overall i'm very happy i'm so glad i actually got involved with the um, crowdfunded campaign on indiegogo with this device with a 33 percent discount so yeah overall very very satisfied uh, 10 out of 10 what else can i need you know ask for more uh, but if you have any queries please do comment below i'll be more than happy to come back to you but definitely recommend the series pro uh, P9. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.